Let's talk about the one more concept which is git ignore and that git ignore file is really useful when you want to ignore certain type of a local files which are available onto your local laptop and which you don't want to be a part of code commit. So what kind of a those file you can exclude from your git commit so that anytime you execute git commit or git push from your local laptop or a working station, then those files will never ever be committed in the git repository. So what are those files and how we can ignore those files that we are going to take a look into this particular chapter. Let's jump to my terminal and I'm going to show you even I try to run the git status command that it is still going to ignore idea and app.log file. So if I go back over here and if I try to run the command git status, then here you can see it is only showing me that it has added the git ignore file. Yes, because I want to have that feature of ignoring the file. And after that, it is only showing me feature2.txt, which you can see into our IntelliJ that uh, if I do, I have done some modification onto this particular feature to file, that's why it is reflecting over there. Apart from that, there's nothing uh, in the terminal which is visible over here, okay? Neither it is showing me the idea file, neither it is showing me the app.log file, okay? Let me create a one more file uh, here, like uh, let's try to create a feature dot feature three dot txt and then hit enter and then click on add over here. And now let's try to run the file uh, command like git status. And here you can see, now it is showing me git ignore, feature two and feature three, but still it is not showing me the dot idea and the app.log file. So although I'm very uh, like blindly running the git status command, uh, I'm not worried about that. It will even try to add that particular log or idea file. So that's why this git ignore file is very powerful to ignore such kind of a changes which you don't want to push. Here onto the screen, you can see there are a couple of files and folder which I have highlighted as a git ignore. So here you can see there is a one uh, folder which is .idea and there is a one file which is app.log file. So these are the two files which I want to ignore so that whenever I commit any code from my GitHub repository, then these two particular one folder and one file should never be a part of my GitHub repository. And what is the reason for that? So for example, this idea folder is a part of my IntelliJ because whenever I open this particular or and whenever I open any kind of a project in IntelliJ, then it creates its own local directory inside that particular project. And that contains the local config, which is only valid for the IntelliJ. So if any other developer uh, wants to use this particular project, then that particular idea folder will not be useful for him. Uh, he can open his own IntelliJ idea and then IntelliJ idea will create their own uh, local config folder. All right. So in such cases, we can ignore certain files. And for that, we need to create this git ignore file. And we need to mention the patterns which we need to exclude. So that is one example where I have excluded dot idea folder. And also I have excluded the log file. Sometimes uh, it happens that you're locally developing and testing your application. And those log files are generated on your local system. And those log files are quite big and heavy. And you you don't want to push unnecessary log files which is not relevant to any other uh, member in the team and those log files are locals to you then you should not push those log files into the github repository so that's where we can make this github uh, in github ignore entry inside our git ignore file so with the help of this git ignore file we can exclude these kind of a file types and the folder so that they will never be a part of your git commit history even accidentally also even ac with accident you can never ever push those uh, files and the folder which you have uh, put inside your git ignore file Let's jump to my IntelliJ idea and I can show you how we can create that particular file. So coming to any project, it can be any project of your uh, like uh, where you're working. So here I'm going to create a new file and the name of the file which I'm going to give is the git ignore. So be careful, you need to make the file name exactly the way I have written it over here, which is git ignore. All right. After creating this file, uh, just hit enter and click on add over here. And here you can see this is the git ignore file which we have created. And after that, we need to make an entry which folders and which files we need to ignore. 
So to ignore the idea folder, the first entry which I'm going to make is this one. Uh, so here, this is the comment so that any other developer can know what kind of a file I'm ignoring. After that, you need to uh, put a forward slash over here, which you can see after that dot, uh, or after that, you need to put the actual folder name, which is dot idea over here. And with that, it knows that I need to exclude that particular idea folder. All right, let me add one more entry to ignore the log file. So I want to ignore the all the log files, which ends with the dot log extension. So for that, I'm going to do this particular entry, which is this one. Okay, so here, this is our wildcard. So which tells that any file which ends with the dot log extension will be ignored. So that's the way how we are going to ignore it. Also, if you want to ignore very specific file, then what you can do, you can just copy the same line. And here you can add the thing like app.log. Okay, so then in that case, it is going to ignore only that particular specific file. Otherwise, it's always better to use the wildcard if you have multiple number of a same file, same type of file, which you need to ignore. So that's how you can ignore these two uh, for these folder and this particular file from your git commit history.